With a one-time payment of just $10, you can now create unlimited AI content. Hey, jumping in real quick, because the new One Face model is out and it's next level. So in this video, I'll also show you how to make insane videos like this. And you'll get a free video to video workflow too. All right, back to the intro. Unlimited AI content using top image models like Flux, Hydream and Stable Diffusion 3.5. Create 60 second AI videos, restyle your own footage, build a consistent character sheet and train your own model with this and even add lip sync in 11 languages. Puedo hablar inglés or I can speak 10 other languages too. And that's not all. You can also create this amazing squish effect, the inflate effect, the powerful crush effect or even cutify yourself and turn it into a stunning video. And all of this is now possible with the easy to use all-in-one AI toolkit ConfUI Studio. New to open source? Then definitely stick around because Alex from ConfUI Studio made the setup so simple it no longer feels like assembling IKEA furniture in the dark. You don't have to deal with installations or annoying errors anymore. ConfUI Studio does it all for you. Just one click and everything's ready to go. And that's so amazing. Normally in my ConfUI tutorials I have to explain where to download and place every model. Now it's all done for you and I absolutely love that. So before I show you how to get this AI toolkit and how simple it is to install, I'll first walk you through a few of the workflows. Since there are over 200 workflows, I can't show them all in one video. So in this one, I'll focus on how to restyle the first frame of your video and then how to restyle the entire video with that frame. Once ConfUI Studio is installed, it will look like this. I'll show the full installation at the end of the video. At this point, all workflows are ready and you can simply double click the start file to launch the toolkit and begin creating. But models still need to be downloaded. To do that, go to the models folder, then models by workflow and select the workflow you want and double click the script inside. This will automatically download and place all required models in the right folders. ConfUI Studio handles it all for you. If you have enough space on your main drive, you can also run the download all model script to install everything at once. It might take a while, but you can close it anytime and restart later and it will continue where it left off. Honestly, I'm blown away by how Alex made everything so simple and convenient. The readme file opens a PDF with detailed explanations for each workflow. If you click for example on the character v2 workflow, it will take you to a YouTube tutorial that guides you through creating a consistent character sheet and training your own LoRa model with this. Now let's double click the start file, ConfUI Studio launches and we can start creating. Clicking the folder icon reveals all available workflows. If you're new to ConfUI, don't worry, the nodes and noodles might look complex, but they're easier than they seem. Chances are you've already used Confi without knowing it, since 90% of all online AI tools run it in the background. The only difference is the interface, and I'll show you exactly which nodes match the same options in the online AI tools. Already familiar with ConfUI? Then skip to the next chapter. The load image or video node is where you drag in your files, or simply click here to upload them. In this node, you can set the aspect ratio, for example, to switch to a vertical format. This node here is where you add your text to image prompts. And in some online tools, you might see a creativity slider. In ConfUI, that's the CFG scale. You can click here to adjust it to a higher value. And the best part of ConfUI Studio is that Alex has already set the ideal defaults, so it's really easy to use. Before we jump into the powerful new one phase video workflow, I want to quickly show you how to restyle your first frame using Flux. I'll open the image folder and choose the Flux original workflow. Here you'll find 12 additional workflows for things like inpainting, background removal, upscaling and much more. Just select the one you need directly in the switcher node. In case you're new to ConfUI, control nets are tools that guide image generation by using structural information from an input image. For this example, I'll use the open pose workflow. This workflow, along with the new one vase video to video workflow, is available for free on Alex Patreon page, so you can follow along with the tutorial. You'll find the link in the description. I'll move quickly through this restyle workflow since I'll go much more in depth on the video to video workflow, and that's where we'll spend most of the time. I'll zoom out, navigate through the workflow, and drag in my first image here. Then I'll set the aspect ratio to 9020 by 1080. Next, I'll add my high-tech male explorer prompt in here, set the steps to 25, the control net strength to 0.7 and the end percent to 0.7 as well. Finally, I'll set the style to cinematic. And now I will go here and click on run to generate the image. And now we can see that it keeps the same structure as the input image. Since I like the result, I will increase the output number to 8 and run it again. That gives me several variations and I will choose the best one to use for restyling my video. This is the image I chose and now I want to recreate Runway's first frame effect with it. Just like I did in this Runway tutorial. 
I'll be using the older one control workflow for this. And right after that, I'll walk you through the new one face workflow. I've already set everything up so we can move through this part faster. Here you can click to upload the base video. You have to upload both the videos in these nodes. And then here you can set the aspect ratio. And here I dropped in my prompt, which I also used for the image. And from these nodes, only the input image is enabled. And here you can drop your restyled image. And here are our control nets. And here we can see that we are blending two control nets. The open pose control net and the depth control net. The depth control net is here and the open pose one is here. But if you would like to use the canny one, you could simply drag this one in here. And now you have the canny one selected. But I want to use the open pose one. Here you can leave most settings as they are, but feel free to experiment with the steps and CFG values to tweak the final result. Just make sure to enter the frame rate of your base video into the video combine node. Then hit run to generate your video. And this is the end result. Enter, if you dare. And I steal a piece of your soul. And it is almost as good as the runway first frame tool. Let's jump into the new one face model. Like I said, the possibilities with this one are insane. You'll find it in the video folder inside the workflow section. So I'll select the face GGUF file from there. And now we have three incredibly workflows powered by the new one face model. And the further we go down, the more exciting it gets. At the top, we have the new text to video workflow. In the middle, things get even better with the image to video workflow. And at the bottom, saving the best for last, the video to video workflow, which honestly blew my mind with how insanely good it is. Let's kick things off with the first one and work our way down. Click here to activate the workflow. Alex has already set the default settings for optimal results. You could still tweak the steps and CFD scale if needed, but I recommend keeping CFD around 1 to 3 and steps no higher than 8. For me, the sweet spot was CFD1 with 6 steps. And with this prompt, we got this result. To find your outputs, Alex included a simple script. Just click on the output images bat file in your studio folder. Then double click the video folder, open the face folder and you'll find your generated videos there. While the text to video workflow is great, the image to video option delivers even better results. So let's scroll down to that workflow. Now I'll disable the text to video workflow and enable the image to video one. With this input image and this prompt, a dancing woman on a beach and the dog is walking into the shot, the result is amazing. Just look at how realistic the dog moves. It looks so natural. This image was restyled using the Flux workflow I showed earlier. It's the first frame of a cool snowboard video. I'll soon transform this with the video to video workflow. But before that, let's see what the image to video workflow does with this. I changed the aspect ratio to 1280 by 720 for this one and used the prompt high speed snowboarder as the camera zooms out. For the rest, I didn't change any settings. I just used Alex default setup. Of course, you can tweak the steps and CFG values, but I consistently get the best results with the defaults. I'm quite pleased with how this turned out, but combining it with a base video takes it to a whole new level. But before that, let me walk you through the basics of the video to video workflow. This workflow is a bit larger, but it's pure magic. Not only can it restyle one person, it can also restyle three people at the same time. But let's start with the basics. Here you can either drag in your video or click to upload it. In the video size node, I've set the width and height to match the base video. This node automatically generates the first frame. And by right clicking on it, you can copy that frame to restyle it. For example, using the flux workflow I showed earlier. And here you can drag in your restyled image. Here you can see that the open pose and depth control nets are enabled. Here you can add your prompt. And for the rest, there's nothing else you need to do. Just hit run to generate the video. And honestly, I'm absolutely blown away by how good the quality is. And even if you don't have a restyled image, it works. I'll show you by dragging this in here. Now I'm going to add this prompt in here and I'm going to hit generate again. Well, here's the result and do I need to say more? This is just unbelievable. So now let's use a video with three people dancing. So here we can see the new video I've uploaded. Here are the control nets and here is the output. And it's just amazing. Now we have three dancing Avenger woman. I just really love it. And we can also restyle without an input image. And for this, I'm going to click on this node and press control B to disable them. Small interruption here. Alex has just sent me the final updated version of the workflow. He added two things, a one click button to disable the input image. Second, the control nets are now expanded, so you can easily switch between them. And the default is just the open pose one, but you can also use the depth one. Or if you want to use open pose and depth, then you just drag this handle here and you connect it to the image input. But I don't want that because I want to use the open pose one. So I'll drag this in here, 
and reconnect this. Because for restyling using text to image prompts, I found that this works best. Now I'm going to add my Grizzly Bears prompt in here and I'm going to leave the settings as they are and click run. <laughs> and this is just amazing. Look at that. Now we have three realistic looking dancing Grizzly Bears. And now I'm going to my ultimate prompt toolkit with 1000 plus visual keywords because I want to restyle the dancing lady into an alien. And for that, I will take this prompt for the subject and I will take this scenery prompt for the background. So now I will add the prompt in here and click run again. I'm really impressed with how consistent this turned out. The face isn't perfectly realistic, but it shows that just using a text prompt can already give great results. Still, when you use a restyled input image like I did earlier, the outcome is on another level. And I'll show you exactly that with the restyled snowboarder. So here we can see the video from the restyled snowboarder. And this time for the control nets, I like to use the open pose and the depth one. And then I used the same prompt as I used for the image. And this is the final result. To me, this looks super realistic and consistent. It really sparks a lot of creative potential. Here are two more generations I made to show that it often takes a few tries to get the perfect shot you're after. Now let me show you how to install this toolkit yourself. To access it, visit Alex's Patreon page, become a member for $10 and click on the main download link to get to the files you need to download. The installation is very simple. It just takes a bit of time. After that, everything works with a single click. And the best part is that every week Alex adds new workflows with the latest models. To keep getting them, just stay a $10 per month Patreon and download the workflow update and install it with a single click. Let's start by creating a ConfUI Studio folder on your fastest drive. Then download the files from the Google Drive link into that folder. To do this, right click and select download. If the download fails due to high traffic, use the reserve link. That one worked perfectly for me. Inside this folder, create a new folder and name it Studio. Make sure there are no spaces or special characters in the name. Use WinRAR to extract the files as only WinRAR can handle the extraction properly. Select all the files, right click and choose to extract them into the Studio folder. Now if we open the Studio folder, it looks like this, just as shown earlier in the tutorial. Now there are three more important things to mention. First, inside the 6apps folder, you find install scripts for tools like FFmpeg needed for audio workflows or Flux Gym used for LoRa training. These tools also follow the same simple one-click installation. Second, you'll find update files in the Patreon post or the dedicated Discord group. Make sure to extract these files into a new folder inside the studio folder. Inside this folder, you'll find update scripts. Run them all to install the new workflows. Then double-click the download all models path file to add the required models. It will only download what's missing. Lastly, the Studio Discord group offers great support from Alex and the community if you want to dive deeper and level up your skills. To get started with ConfUI Studio, check out Alex's Patreon, which I've linked in the description.